Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about great mystics and great scientists. There's a misconception among certain people about what a mystic is and that um, mystic cannot be a scientist and a scientist cannot be a mystic. It's actually the opposite. The greatest scientists and inventors in history have all been mystics. The greatest artists have all been mystics. See, there is a metaphysical realities out there. This is undeniably true. Some people are just blind and deaf to it, but it's it's absolutely there. And the the geniuses, the mystics, are the ones who live in both realities and are able to access those and therefore create the wonderful things we see today. Okay? They're able to access these realities more than the average person, okay? Along with their soul being more advanced in other things. So let me just sort of explain a little bit about that. What is a mystic? A mystic is somebody who has part of his being in this reality and part of his being in the metaphysical realities, okay? Part of his being in this reality and part of his being in metaphysical realities, okay? It's kind of like being in the United States and Germany at the same time, okay? It's something like that, all right? It's being in on Mount Everest and Zimbabwe at the same time, okay? Mystics can do this. There's metaphysical realities, multiple realities, multiple realms, spiritual beings, all kinds of things. Most people cannot access that. Mystics can. Okay, that's what makes a mystic. Those who aren't mystics are fully in this world. Boom. Those who have passed on, their flesh has gone, and they've risen to heaven, well, they're in those realms. But, if you have flesh, you're here in this world, but you can also access the realms, then you are a mystic, okay? Now, there's a number of all great geniuses, I would say most great geniuses, have had experiences. And there are public writings, interviews, where they have said they have had spiritual visitations, communications with spiritual beings, and in some cases, more advanced things such as astral travel and, and other such. Okay? Here's a small list. I've, I've been reading about these people for years, and here's a small list of some of those people that have admitted that. John Lennon. Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. All four of the Beatles individually have had their own metaphysical, spiritual experiences, and they have admitted so. Nikola Tesla, Isaac Newton, Mendeleev. Tesla freely admits all the metaphysical friends that have come to visit him. And I know a few other things that other people don't know because I've actually been visited by several of Tesla's assistants and so they've told me things about Tesla that nobody else knows. So he's he's definitely definitely what you call the mystic. And look at his inventions that came out of that. Isaac Newton it is well known that he wrote more about alchemy than he did about optics and mechanics combined. And he even wrote, the world is not ready for my views on religion. Okay, so you could call him a mystic. Greatest scientist of the world, also a mystic. Tesla, greatest inventor, definitely a mystic. Okay. Shakespeare. What do you think Hamlet was about? 
I believe Hamlet was essentially an autobiography of a lot of his understanding of the spiritual world. What is the quote? There's more in heaven than is dreamt in your philosophies. Right? That's true. That's true. Um, seeing ghosts and spirits? Yeah, they're real. A lot of us can. Maybe you can't, but a lot of us have seen them. They're floating around. They're morphing. You know, we can see them. Um, Charles Dickens. The Three Ghosts. He never said it publicly that he was visited by three ghosts, but I believe that he had some sort of spiritual experience, maybe multiple experiences, and they helped him uh, write that story. Um, Andy Griffith, I believe, also had spiritual ex experiences because he has several stories where he mentions it in the Andy Griffith Show and in Matlock. His particular character is more of a skeptic, but I think Andy Griffith, the man himself, put those things into his stories to, to do it. So his character was the skeptic, but I think him, himself. And I also say that because I spent a whole night with Andy Griffith. Um, he brought me up to heaven with him, and he showed me some things up there. So, you know, I believe he was connected down here and, you know, so forth. Uh, what did I miss? Those ones I came along with them. John Lennon admitted that Nowhere Man was given to him. Just downloaded. Um, Paul McCartney, Let It Be. It was exactly how it happened. And um, Wings, he named Wings because uh, of an angel that came to visit him. Now, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr have both admitted that uh, John has come down to visit him and talk to him. Yeah. And I must admit, you know, John, John Lennon has come to me, been a great mentor to me, and George Harrison has been a great mentor to me from up in heaven. But even here on Earth, you can find their videos of how they admitted that uh, they've been contacted. But the scientists as well, geniuses, artists, scientists, they... A lot of them have admitted that they have been spiritually connected and they got some of their stuff from the divine. It's like it's, it's like it's 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 common knowledge to them, you know? It's common knowledge to them. I mean there's one video uh, John Lennon talks about the fact where he wasn't able to write music and you know they took a trip on a little little yacht and he felt himself connected with nature again and then he started writing a couple songs after that. You know, so uh, they know this stuff. Tesla, one of the greatest inventors of all time. Read his writings. He talks about it plainly. He says, oh, well, you know, they came and sat on my bed. And when they sat on my bed at night, I was going to have a good, good sleep that night. He would talk about getting flashes of inspiration, you know, bright lights. And then an idea would come to him. it works so the reality is great musicians great artists and great scientists are mystics they are mystics so to say a mystic is to, to put mystic in the category of fiction or pseudoscience or whatever that is that's wrong mystic is actually a real thing as a matter of fact it's beyond real. It's, it's accessing the greater real. It's accessing the greater reality. So while skeptical scientists would say, oh, the mystic is just delusional or fiction, it's quite the opposite. The mystic is actually not only part of this reality, he's part of this greater, 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 greater reality. Okay? All right. And uh, if you don't want to believe me, believe John Lennon, George Harrison, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr, Nikola Tesla, Mendeleev, and a bunch of other people. Okay? All right. Um, I think that's it.
And yes, I call myself a mystic. Well, spiritual leader, but yeah, I'm a mystic. Mystic, spiritual leader, whatever you want to call me. But there it is. That's all.